Hi all and welcome back to another GCSE PE video on the engagement patterns of different social groups. This used to be called like influences to participation. Okay, so we're gonna look at these categories, gender, age, socioeconomic group, ethnicity, disability, and influence of other people. So we're gonna look at each of those in detail. So let's start with the first one. Let's start with gender. So your gender influences which type of sport you go into. For example, if you are a boy, you are less likely to be involved in netball because there are fewer clubs outside of school and it's been traditionally seen as a female orientated sport. Now football is changing because there are so many more different clubs for girls and that's a real positive um, example of why football used to be most, mostly male dominated and now we have more football clubs for girls and it is becoming the fastest growing sport. Now age is a real factor because there are some sports you can't do at certain ages. So for example, you cannot run in the marathon until you are 18 years old. Also, you've got the other end where mostly younger people take part in gymnastics because of flexibility and ease of rotation by being smaller. Often there are more people taking part in gymnastics at a younger age. Okay, so your age can influence the activity you go into. Your socioeconomic group. Now, what that means is how much wealth you have. If you have lots of wealth, you're more likely to go into a variety of sports, but particularly you have access to sports that are more expensive, such as golf, where the equipment is expensive and membership to golf courses is really expensive too. You may be into equestrianism, such as horse riding, jumping, etc. And that costs a lot of money to own a horse, to feed a horse, to stable a horse, even to rent or go to a stables where you may ride. That is expensive. So you need to have a certain income or your families have a certain income to take part in some of those sports. At the other end of the scale, we have athletics and football, where people from all socioeconomic groups take part because the cost of equipment and memberships are so much lower. Yes, you can buy really expensive football boots and running spikes, etc., but you can also buy uh, equipment that is a lot cheaper. Your ethnicity can determine whether you take part in certain sports or in sports at all. Some families are fearful of racism within sports, so don't send their children to certain sports clubs or sports at all. Some ethnicities have a deep culture in certain sports, such as Indians and cricket and so you're often more likely to be involved in cricket or even hockey if your family have previously been involved in those sports dating back. There are still bias and prejudice involved in sport and it has been very rare for participants to be able to progress in coaching and managerial roles. There are actions to try and correct that as we speak. Whether you have a disability can influence your participation. For example, there are less clubs for disability sport. Although it is a more publicised, televised activity, Paralympic sport is still way behind able-bodied sport and is less opportunity to take part. A lot of clubs aren't local. Some facilities have not been adapted for all disabilities, such as leisure centres, swimming pools, etc., which need ramps and lifts to enable disabled people to take part in different sports. Specialist coaching is also a problem for progression for those aspiring disabled athletes. Now, everybody is influenced, whichever group they're in, by the people around them. So for example, if your parents played a certain sport, it's likely you go into that. So for example, if your parents played rugby, then you're more likely to go into rugby and they'll encourage you to go to that club, maybe the same club. If your parents had a bad experience of let's say a sport such as rugby, they're less likely to encourage you to go into that and more steer you towards maybe another sport. So your parents are the first people that kind of influence you. Then your kind of peers and school influence you. You may become part of the school football team and you get involved more in football and progress and go to play for a club. It might be your friends go and play golf and you want to go and do that. So you go and play golf with them. And the last one is role models. So role models seen on TV who are successful, particularly from your country. So, for example, Team GB athletes are going to inspire the population of Great Britain to go and maybe participate in some of their sports. 
we often see after Olympics where we've had success, people go and sign up for those sports where Britain have had success. I hope this video has been useful for you. Uh, I've got other ones to do with paper two, such as the sports psychology and gamesmanship and sportsmanship. I've also got a new one out on how to write your PP. Good luck, everyone.